Level 8, bad news. Oh. I was about to do Professor Farnsworth's impression, but I didn't have time. This isn't... Chiron, have you gotten us lost? Of course not. I've walked this road many times. I've never seen this before, however. It's recent construction. The cuts on the stones are not weathered. It doesn't look like something your average bandit would build. It's a wall. the men from my Oculus? Within, perhaps. Let's find out. Does your average bandit not build walls? Scout the area and find what resources are available here. That's a really good idea. Let's split up our forces completely. Bloody morons. Alright, better get to it, I guess. So over here, on the right, this is quite an interesting level, really, because we got our target up here. We've got these two enemy fortresses that belong to Gargarensis, and then we got the Ioclos slaves digging. And, uh, and there's Gargarensis himself, so sort of standing up there. Isn't he ugly? So we've got Arkantos and Chiron over here, and then we've got Ajax's camp over here. Funny thing, there is no connector until you get to like this sort of area-ish. I'm not sure exactly, because obviously I can't see it. But So how they all managed to get there, I have no idea. Now there's obviously plenty of wood on this side, and on Ajax's side we've got a bit of food, so I'll start by gathering some food on this side. And get these goats together as well. Right. Ajax, you guys have a look over here and see what you can find. And our Kantos and Co. You guys have a look around here. And you, Mr. Scout, go up there. Okay, right, so you guys get all the food. Oh good, more berry bushes. Anything here? Nope. Okay. Right, in that case, you guys wait there. And... you lot. There seems to be plenty of wood. I was gonna say, you lot better go for wood, because there's bugger all else over here. Nope, nothing. Right, so you guys get to there as well. You, Mr. Scout. What do we have up here? A wall. Okay. More walls. How did they even get here? They're literally walled in. It doesn't make sense. Oh well. You guys just wait there. Mr. Scout, you head down here so you can find. Okay. You guys join in on the food. This is going to be really confusing trying to handle like two different camps at the same time. It's going to be a pain. Right now, six, right. That one. That one. And I'd like that one. No, I want that one. Don't get that one. Yeah, my uh, my tactics are really quite scattered, as you can see. It's just sort of, ah, press everything and see what happens. <gasps> the Shingles of Steel. One of the least useful relics, but never mind. Chiron, you're a centaur, you go grab that. Look at him go. Right. Centaurs are awesome. Like, in, in the mythology, as I mentioned last episode, they were absolute pricks, but, you know, as a concept, they're pretty cool. It's a, it's a dude with half, who's half a horse. I mean, come on. I was about to say, what else does that? And then I thought, minotaurs. The Greeks were great for cross-species intercourse. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that if I, that's not how the minotaur was. No, no, that is. I think Minos' wife had sex with a cow or a boar. I don't, it's all very Greek. Okay, right. So I don't have loads actually. I got oh, that's good. There's more gold there. Fine. I'm a bit low on food, so I'm getting some farms up sooner or later. You guys just keep with the. I know what I'll do. I have the guys on this side getting wood because that's all there is, and then I'll build up my other military buildings here, and then I'll have Ajax's guys working on food and gold, and well, I do have a military building here, I'll probably make a few more military buildings. It's ten, so I want seven more. I normally go with having, I can't remember if I've mentioned this, I almost certainly have, it's level eight now. I almost always sort of go with ten villagers on each resource, uh, unless I'm playing as the Atlanteans, because their citizens are different and work differently. Okay, you guys just... yeah, that's yeah, going to take a while. Okay. Um, you guys best head up here. Get those and let these delicious goats fatten up. Okay, in the meantime, let's find out what's behind this wall. Yeah, I'll just lead you guys to that. 
Um, I assume there's nothing there. Right, wood, 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 plenty more wood. Marvellous. How are we doing? Six over there, that's good. No point getting hunting dogs because there's no animals to hunt from apart from the uh, goats and they count under the upgrade I already got. Smash it, guys! There we are, they'll make pretty short work of that. Um, what do I need next? No, I'm okay, I'll make a couple of builders over here. Look at him go, they're trashing that thing. I, now I would knock this down, but I'd rather leave it be, because it kind of marks out my area quite nicely at the moment. However, I would like these upgrades, so I will get these upgrades. I'm in the classical age and I have guard towers, that doesn't seem right. Ooh. Come on guys, let's find out what's here. It looks like an exit. Of, yeah, okay, that's just another exit. Alright then. Seems a little... Okay. I won't complain. We have multiple ways out. Though, why we need more than one, I have no idea. Oh! Trash him! There we go. I'll just take these out and keep his troops off me. His archers off me anyway. Right, you guys, get us an armory. I want to get to the heroic age as fast as possible. And you, see if you can find a way around to Ajax. Militia! Eat spears, punks. Spears and... Javelins, I guess? There we go. Marvellous. Right, kill them, and then head back to base. Food. You guys finished already? Jesus! You really don't mess around, do you? Okay. Right. Yes, good. Marvellous. May as well get that. Um, these both cost wood, so I'll get those. Well. Oh! Favour, of course. I completely forgot about favour. Just build some houses and then get these guys praying. Oh, I need two. Right, I'll just pull them away, I guess. To save population, I'll use them and then pull them away when I need favour. Uh, or no, when I need to build something, they'll be getting favour. Oh, you silly Billy. Go on this way. See anything? Anything? Well, there's a fortress! There's definitely a fortress. I get the feeling I'm going to take that out as our cantos, because otherwise that'll be firing on Ajax's army, and that'll be a bit of a cock end. That was an odd term to use. Boom! I'll just get the scout to attack as well, even though he's got pretty sure lower. Yeah, he's got lower attack than a villager. Like much lower attack. Good, they're getting food. We're very slowly destroying this. Uh oh! Jerkholes! Jerkholes! Oh, no, that scout's done for. I wasn't expecting jerkholes. Why did nobody warn me about the jerkholes? This could get pretty ugly. Let's get a Minotaur. I feel like a Minotaur will help. Retreat! This is not working, guys. Let's get out of here. This is why I didn't advance on Ajax's side, because it's not really wise to advance until you're in a position of strength. Um, boobly boobly doo. I will go with Apollo. I'm not sure if I've gone with Dionysus yet, but I'm going to go with Apollo just because he has. He gives Underworld Passage, which is really, really useful. Don't worry, this Minotaur will help, guys. Here comes the Gore. No, if you can get him, that is. There it was. 
There we are, that's more like it. Fantastic. Now, oh. oh good, lots of archers. Oh, my counter archers on the other side, of course they were. So you guys pull back so they come to the tower. And I hope they don't go for the villagers. Okay, Ajax, get that Minotaur. Get him faster! Oh yeah, we're holding that side. That's fine. Oh yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Right. Okay, we're in the heroic. And um, we can get to the mythic, good. Right then, I will advance to the mythic age as fast as is humanly possible. Uh, got a few things to do first though. Not least wall this off so I'm safe up there. I said wall this off so I'm safe up there. And then I'll just sort of walk this. Okay, yeah, just two of you go, that's fine. I only need two of you, I don't need any more fools. Good, more jerks. Good. Okay then. I must say, at the time of recording, which is today, I, I don't know what the date is, um, I'm I'm very excited, playing this is getting me excited because, not, not sexually excited, thank you, dirty minded person, it's getting me excited because, as you may or may not know, I don't know how up to date you are with these things, there was a recent, oh he's on the wrong side, they, um, Microsoft recently announced an, an HD remake of Age of Empires 2, uh, that they're releasing on Steam. Let him through there. And I love Age of Empires 2 almost as much as I love Age of Mythology. You can do different. It's different to Age of Mythology, obviously. It's very different, but it's an amazing game, and it's generally hailed as one of the best strategy games of all time. And that's an assessment I agree with. It's very, very fun. And I, for years, like since 2004ish, I kept trying to get my copy of The Conquerors, which is the expansion for it, if you don't know, to work on like anything. But it would never work. Just like I, I think the systems were just too like powerful for it. It wouldn't. It just wouldn't load. It was just impossible. But now, and so I couldn't play it for years. And now they have announced an HD release on Steam as well. And it's just they're going to need a huge pot to throw their money in because that's such a good move. It's just abs It's brilliant. Basically, I'm very excited about it because I really, really enjoyed the, those games like Age of Empires is and Age of Mythology. And Age of Empires 2 was my favourite. Um, and then, of course, there's Age of Mythology, which is in a, it, a category of its own, Age of Mythology is. But, yeah. Made by the same studio, Ensemble, which is why I'm reminded of it, also because it's a RTS. But yeah, I'm rambling. It's very good, basically, and I would advise you to look into it, especially if you're, if you're watching this video. Chances are... Why did I only get four of you? Chances are you are aware of, you know, what Age of Empires is anyway. But if you're watching it and you're not aware, where have you been living? Like, on Mars, under a rock? But, you know, I would suggest checking it out on Steam. I think You can get it cheaply at the moment. It's coming out in April, I think it's being released. So you can, like, I've pre-bought it and you can get it for, like, 12 quid, I think. Which isn't bad, given it has all of the, um, we'll just get a few caravans going. It has the, the, the Conqueror's expansion. And it has Steam Workshop support as well, which is fantastic. Because it means you can you know, make things and your friends can play them or, you know, you can just put them up for the whole world to see and play. Um, like you do, like you can with Skyrim or, uh, I think Portal 2 as well has it. Um, Civ 5 has it as well, Civilization 5. I'm not sure, but Team Fortress 2 I think has it, but I don't, I might be wrong about that. Um, I never played Team Fortress 2, but yeah, so Steam Workshop is a great thing, so it means you can, there'll be loads of maps and things available and it'll just be pretty damn awesome. And I mean, for the for the price as well, it's really good because the number of there's like, including the Conquerors ones and including the one where you learn to play the game, there's like twelve campaigns if I remember correctly. Plus then a bunch of like standalone missions. It's really, it re really good actually, really good value for money. So yeah, I'm greatly looking forward to that. That's why I made this patrol I for to smash the gate. This is just to make sure that jerks don't come in on this side. I should do something similar on this side as well. Ah, oh, on the plus side, they are all infantry, and my tops are tails will wreck them. There we go. I'm sure they'll be fine. Right, um, you just smash the rest of these, would you? You guys... 
You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Get in there. Get in there quickly. Come on, man. Come on, my you tits. Get away. Get away now. Well, that went well, didn't it? I need two of you to build me some walls here. Lovely. Leave my catapult alone, you jerks. Get him! Very few soldiers. Dear, oh dear. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. Um, I've been distracted talking about Age of Empires. I've not really been paying attention to what I'm actually doing. So, still short on food. I'm good for everything except food. Okay. So over here, I will use this area for. I'll get some archers and myth units on this side, and then on this side, I will get some infantry. I'll use infantry and infantry. I guess. I don't know. I might build a fortress over here to get some siege weapons as well. Right. Okay, if you guys could just build these towers, that'd be swell. Right. Um, oh, I'm worshipping Zeus, so I can't show you Artemis. Did I do Hero before? I don't remember if I did. I don't think I did. Should I do Hero? I'll do Hero. The Medusas are quite good. They're not as, you know, Colossus good, smash everything to bits, but they're pretty good. It's good against, you know, infantry, because they turn to stone. It's quite satisfying. Annoying when it happens, do you mind? Okay. Then I think that's everything I need you guys to build, and you can get back to favor. Look at these donkeys getting just a tiny, tiny sliver of gold. Good work, people. Good work. Farm faster, you jerks! You're taking forever! I got the farming upgrades, so do it faster. That's a bit out of place there. Oh, oh they must have killed my Petroboli. Petroboli. Whatever. They must have killed it, because I can't hit that wall. Never mind. Right, you guys get back to praying, because we need more favour. Not going to bother with the building upgrades, I don't really need them. Okay, right. Do you want Minotaur upgrades? I, I will want some Minotaurs. Archers, Archers. Um, heavy Infantry and Levy Infantry. <laughs> heavy Infantry and Levy Infantry rhyme. And I've only just realised. Yeah. I'm not going to bother fortifying my town centre because I don't think anything's really going to get through. Now see, I could now make an underwater passage between my two areas and just have Ajax like storm forward, like just have them all meet up and then storm forward together, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have them meet at a central point and then put another little passage back for reinforcements, I think. That's probably what I'll do. Or I might just get to a foot like to like here and then put another passage to somebody else and just let them move. I, I don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing. Right. Um, some champion archers and also infantry. That's too expensive at the moment. Actually, I should have another. There it is. Where is he home? Why does increasing. Why does upgrading a wall to a fortified wall cost wood? Yeah, Gargarensis, I don't know why you called me mortal. You yourself are also mortal. That's kind of a big deal. That's your whole motivation for things, is to become immortal. I may have just ruined the whole story, but. I think that's all actually, you only get that from looking at his examine info. Yeah. His homeland is Lerna, and uh, he is a warlord. Yes. <clears throat> he is also a distant descendant of Poseidon, and he wants nothing more than to be a god himself and will stop at nothing to achieve this. Good stuff. Good stuff. You never actually fight him like one on one in the game, but if you like go into the editor and plonk him down and fight him on that, then it, he is really, really tough. Uh, oh, I don't... Oh, of course, it's Hephaestus that gives you the Forge of Olympus. That's right. Okay. Um, get that. While that's happening, I'm just going to train up a bit of an army here. We can go. One, seven. That will leave me with six spaces. Get myself one of these. 
this is going to be a very largely ranged army, it's just occurred to me. Oh well. Uh, I would like some... I won't bother with these heroes, don't really need them here. Oh, I'll get some Myrmidon from here as well, actually. Okay, that seems to be working fine. Right, good out. Okay, so the army is mustering. Ha 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 ha! You guys suck. You guys suck. You guys stay back. Let the Toxtos deal with this. Look at them all. Champion units. Look at them all. Not champion units. Suck it, jerks. Yeah, the towers can deal with those. You guys wait back here. You guys have already exhausted two freaking gold mines? How? How did you... Oh my god, that was insane. Okay, um... Did I build a fortress on this side? No, I didn't. Alright, you guys build a fortress, we'll get some siege up, and then we'll move forward. Move the line forward. How are you guys doing? Very slowly. You're doing slowly. Yeah, that snake. She is actually a snake as well. She's like half a snake. There you are. I love it. I love this thing so much. It's just like, have all the information you want about, you know, stuff about anything really it's a great thing it's a great feature you guys just keep chopping we're fine for wood okay right this is going well this is going well don't know what happened there ah. um but let's get a couple let's get a few no actually here you're planning to get really close let's get a few patrol eye and uh yeah i'm pretty sure that's all you guys need so you guys just sort of wait there for a little while. We'll deal with that in a moment. Uh, let's see, how are you guys doing? Okay, that's all of them. Right. Uh, da, 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 that's ten. Because you can have a maximum of 30 units in one army, that's generally what I aim for. So I've got 10, 15, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Right, I'll get five more Myrmidon then, I think. Oh, and that's the population. Perfect. Right, I'll use this just to upgrade them. Right, smash them. I've only just realised I didn't actually... I haven't got any siege in this army, that was kind of a big deal. I wanted some siege weapons. <laughs> that was stupid. Never mind. These guys will be the siege. They're all the siege we need. They're really not, but... Yeah. Doing it. Got seven, three more to go, and not the population to support oh, three more. Poor. We got plenty of guys on wood. We don't need you lot. Actually, come and think of it. You're taking ages up there. Let's let's move you somewhere else, shall we? Let's move you to over here. Plenty of wood over here. As you hope. That's nine of them. Right now, I miscounted. Okay. There we go. Smashy, smashy, smashy. Right. Okay. Ajax, if you could just sort of come forward and act as a guard. Move those guys up. And you guys get a wall up. Why can't we put a wall there? What's. What's wrong? That's very strange. That's very, very strange. You guys wait here. We smash that down. Shoot him! Kill him! Kill him in the face! If I had a catchphrase, it would almost certainly be that. You guys just wait back here. Let them tire themselves out. There we go, that's an army. Right. Um, good. What are you guys doing? Why can't we build up here? I'd like to build a wall, please. There we go. Bring down that fortress. You guys just hold these buggers off. Look, now, wait back here, because that fortress will kill you if you get close. Right, you guys ready? No, that's not an army. What have I miscounted here? I got 10, 10, 5, to Oh, piss. That's why I miscounted. I was right with 9 of these. Bugger. Right, one of you just kind of kill. Go after those. The rest of you, come with me. 
to nowhere in particular, actually. To like, we've got to knock down walls, so we need siege. That's just friggin' perfect. Right, you guys get on the gold. We've got no more gold. Hey, Jackson, your boys, you just you may as well go out here. <clears throat> you guys, um, oh, we've got a choice of walls. Oh, we've got some jerks as well. And towers that we can't get because we have no siege weapons. Let's not... Okay, we'll knock this gate down first so we can get to the towers. Hope you guys saw them being turned to stone there by the Medusas. Medusae? Medusas? I don't, I don't know the plural. Bring it down, boys and ladies. Yeah, he's still chasing him. I don't want the flaming arrows upgrade. Oh, oh no, I have no gold whatsoever. How did you? What did? You... Did I tell you guys to do that? Is that what I did? Was that that was stupid of me? Okay, you guys come around to here. You guys bring that tower down. Look at him go. Right. Jerks! Eat lightning storm, punks. I have done here, I remember doing a lightning storm earlier. That'll do it. You keep it up. Wow, he's actually doing really well against that. Right. Hey, Jackson Co., head east. Well, I'd really like you to meet up with these guys. You guys worship there. Let's get us some flaming arrows. <coughs> Ooh, pigs! Oh no, we lost a thing we do Hooray! Bring it down, guys. You guys just wait. Smashy, smashy. Smashy, smashy. Smashy, smashy. This is going well. Smashy! There we go. Right. Have a little look around, guys. If you see anything, kill it. You guys, kill them. You guys, get back. Leave them alone! Jerks. Hello, little enemy army. There we are, look at that. Because Myrmidon are really... They're expensive, but they're really good, because they're good against Egyptian, Norse, and Atlantean human soldiers. <coughs> Sorry, I'm pretty sure they are quite good against Greeks as well, but just not as good. They're just really good at sort of general multi-purpose killing. There we are. Because actually, I don't think I've actually mentioned that before. The way it, it, it works with Myrmidon and things is, <coughs> each of the three Greek gods, as well as giving various different bonuses, they each give you a different unit you can have your, from your fortress. Uh, Zeus gives you the Myrmidon, who are, as I said, good against these things. Um, Poseidon gives you Heteroi, which I can't, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, which are cavalry, and they are good, I think they're good against other cavalry and buildings, I uh, can't remember off the top of my head, don't play as Poseidon much, and Hades gives you the Gatastrophes, or the Gatastrophos, and they are guys with like big Arabalist crossbow style things, who are good against infantry and buildings. Actually, I'm not sure if they're going against infantry, but they are good against buildings, and it's just, if you have a crowd of them, you can absolutely just trash everything. It's brilliant. You can just go into any base and just be like, eat fire punk, and just kill it. It's really, really good. <coughs> right, I think I could probably use some backup, so... I may as well use that here. And then link up armies with Ajax. How are you guys doing? Do we need any more favour? No, we're good. Build us a town centre. Uh, can I fit them all? I can! Fantastic. Alright then, here's the remains of my battered army. Here's the remains of my siege weapons. We'll build a new fortress and uh, actually start laying siege to Gargarensis up here. Right now, though, I'm just going to get these guys to destroy what is, I assume, some kind of forward camp. Can I bolt Gargarensis? No. Damn it. This will do it. Now, the, um, if I recall correctly, the Medusa's special attack, the sort of turning to stone, I think that works on enemy myth units as well as human soldiers, so it's quite useful. 
There we are. Same as Persis' special attack, uh, the hero unit who you get with Hades, because he has he's holding Medusa's head, so <coughs> yeah, he turns him into stone. Yeah, I forgot I forgot what it was called then. I was trying to think of the word. Yeah, there he is. He's stone. I don't remember what the word was. You got it. Guys, a little faster, please. There we go. There was a fortress. And you guys just come up and smash that gate down if you would. I'm aware there's like a whole area of the map over here I'm not bothering to look into, but there's not really much point. I'm going to win here. No, didn't mean to do that. Oh boy! I take back that previous win comment. Guys, we may have a slight problem, so let's all form up a bit. Not gonna lie, there were a lot more of them than I thought. We could use some reinforcements. Fortunately, reinforcements are just what I've got. There we are. Thank God I have so many archers. <laughs> and they're also upgraded. Okay, you guys just bring that down. Then head back to the forward camp, which is this. Actually, I'll get these guys to bring that to. Isn't that tower placed nicely? I love towers placed on like ridges and cliffs and things on this game. It's pretty awesome. One reason I like Cronus because his god power, uh, one of the things he lets you do rather, is uh, is time shift your buildings and move them to different locations so you can put towers down and stuff and then like stick them in cool places. It's not tactical in the slightest, but it's pretty cool looking. Right. Let's get us a few get more catapults. Trouble I knock down that gate. Hmm. I'm not particularly bothered if these guys die, they're just kind of a preliminary attack that I don't really care about now. I'm gonna actually bring reinforcements up. Where's that the rally point of all places? Okay, you guys are kind of I know, I'll build a temple and that will heal you all. Have a temple, dudes. I think I've got temple of healing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and our reinforcement army is at the ready. Almost. Okay. And they got that down as well. Right, now what I'm going to do is send a few guys up this way and then send the reinforcement army up that way. They can. I really should put that back in the base, but never mind. I had two bases, I didn't know which one to put it in. Okay, now you guys are going to need some siege weapons, I think, so take a couple of them, form up, and we should be fine and dandy. Yeah. There we are, and this will just heal up these guys as well. Okay, right, so we got this army here, let's move them closer so they can all heal. So some of those, we've got the reinforcement army here, which I'll just move up, and they will be followed by some Heliopoli. Oh no, population limit. Curse you. Quick, guys, build on the other settlement. And then get back to praying, because I do actually need that favour now. Good -o, good -o. This is all quite nice. Okay, I need something to use this bolt on. I haven't... You know, I've killed everything now. This is kind of... Well, hopefully I'll see a random unit that I can use it on. Okay, carry on. Right, how are you guys doing? You all healed? Good out. Move forward to here to take out that. Um, was it military academy? Yeah, we'll take out that military academy to stop being stop jerks coming at us from behind, basically. And then I'm gonna trash up there. Got the other guys to come out here and trash up there. And then Gargarensis will be completely screwed. There's one. Pazap. Tee hee hee. Oh my god, more jerks. There we go. What the? What are you doing? I didn't tell you to go up there. Crazy fool. Well, you may as well just roll your way over here now. Moron. And actually, there's no point in you coming out of that either because 
you know, it's just going to take ages. Ah, uh, that wasn't very clever. Right, okay. You, right, you guys go to the passage. You guys stay the hell back. You're not going to go up to the fortresses yet, you crazy idiots. This attack is a disaster. This side started too early. That side's not even in place yet. They're all moving forwards to... Ah, oh, dear me. This is not going well. I'm a terrible commander. Oh, fine. Let's just knock the fortress down now then. Don't worry about my carefully laid plans or anything. Jerks. Don't even need this army anymore. Balls to him. Bring him down. There we are. I'm going to make sure that Gargarensis is very much gone from this place. Get him, guys. This has been the worst dual assault ever. Like, genuinely. I oh, A five-year-old could have planned an attack better than that. Actually, no, the planning was great. It was just the execution that where it failed miserably. And for that, I blame myself. And Arkantos. In red and purple, from the red clouds of the morn, from the temples where the yellow gods shut up their eyes in scorn, I will warn you. This was enough babbling, coward. Yeah. Come face me. Atlantis does not fear the likes of you. Better get some cream for that burn, Gargarensis. I have warned you. Continue to pursue me. I will spare neither you Ooh. nor your city nor your son. You bastard. Again, I think the sound's slightly out here. I'm pretty sure he should have that meter should have come down towards the end there. Anyway, he's just threatened A Atlantis, B Arcantos, and C Castor, Arcantos' son. What a colossal dick. And in he went to the underworld passage at the end. I don't know if you saw that, it skipped by a bit quickly. So, if you want to find out what happens next. Join me for what I think will be episode 9, and I shall see you all soon.